spirit has a powerful message for you so let's have a look to see what message spirit has for you may i take this time to ask you to be disciplined enough to watch the reading all the way through because i feel that there is a message that you need to hear we're going to be using our tarot cards as well as our oracle cards to deliver the messages that i hear for you may i take this time to remind you that i do candle ceremony and the candle ceremonies that I do are either on a full moon or a new moon. But I also do cord cutting ceremony. I also do banishing ceremony and to return to sender ceremonies also. So if you're wanting to be part of the candle magic, everything you're going to need to know is in the description box below. In the description box below, you can find my website where you can find all the information that you need. So as I'm getting your cards, please invite your intuition to be present because your intuition is going to start elaborating on the messages you are receiving so that this becomes more like a powerful personal reading. As I'm looking at your cards, I can see that you have one major arcana cards indicating that there are some powerful messages that you need to listen to. So whatever is happening right now, the divine is saying that it is time to stop and to step into the energy of making some important judgments about a situation, about a relationship, about a move that you need to make. So the divine is saying, do not be in a rush to make a decision right now, but allow yourself some time for introspection, for evaluation, a time to connect to the divine, a time to speak to your guides. Because there is a situation where if you rush too much, you could be missing some important information. Because we have an energy of rushing. Because you're receiving the energies of the Eight of Wands. So the Divine is saying the Major Arcana card that is here is telling you that there is no need to rush to make a decision. And if anyone is making you feel like you haven't got enough time, if anyone is making you feel like you are going to miss this great opportunity if you don't say yes now, the Divine is saying walk away. Because in the energy of rushing, you are going to be missing some important information and you're going to be kicking yourself later. There's no rush. Please take your time. Please read contracts and reread them again. Please ask important questions and see situations for what they truly are instead of feeling like you haven't got enough time and then making a decision that is going to cost you in the long run. So whatever is happening, there is that element of if you rush too much, there is a costly mistake that you could be making because we have the energies of the page of coins and the pages bring that energy of being naive. So again, there is a situation where you could be naively thinking that you know as much as you need to know. The divine is saying that no, there is certainly something that you're currently not seeing, not considering. There is a moment of recalculation. There is a moment of you removing the rose-tinted glasses and really stepping into the energy of being mature about any decisions that you're making, being mature about a situation that you're currently in. Because again, we have the energies of the page of coins. So there is something that you could naively make a decision on the whim and then it is going to cost you in the long run. And the divine is saying that this message might feel like it doesn't apply to all of you or to you at this moment in time. But soon in the future, you're going to be receiving some 
decisions, some information, and you are going to be remembering this reading. You didn't land on this reading for no particular reason. The divine is wanting to bring an element, an energy of protection around you. So take your time. Slow down. I'm even hearing that for some of you, this message is about making sure that when you're driving, go slowly. Do not be driving and texting at the same time. There is just something where your judgment could be impaired because you're doing something, you're distracted. There is just something that is here. So when you're driving, please make sure that your full concentration is on whatever you're currently doing instead of trying to do two, eight things at the same time. Because when we look at the energies of the eight of wands, this is an energy where there just could be a collision and a collision that could bring in the page of cups or the page of coins. So now you are not paying attention. You didn't judge a situation, a junction right because you were in a rush because you were late and that is going to cost you. So again, safety is going to be something that is really important. The divine really wanted to clarify this energy in different ways because for different people, there is just something that is going to be working out in different ways. So the divine is saying that the reason why you found this reason, this reading rather, is because it is here to protect your peace. You're not going to have to be dealing with whatever transpires because you were in a rush, because you didn't read the terms and conditions, because you were distracted whilst you're driving. So this message, you found this message because the divine wanted to bring an energy of protecting your peace. So this is a powerful message indeed. The divine is saying that for some of you, it is time for a spiritual bath. It is time to cleanse your home. Why is this? Because of the first draw of cards that we received. This could be perceived as a negative type of energy. But instead, as we saw, this is a protection type of energy. And because these energies are present, the divine is saying that a spiritual bath could be something that is good for you because it brings an energy of protection and also an energy of cleansing. We see that we have that evil eye that is there. We have that energy where the divine wants to protect you and watch over you. So a spiritual bath, a cleanse in your home is going to be important. For some of you, because I spoke about a collision, you could just be seeing that someone else is in a rush and these people are addicted or they were drinking or something was happening they were coming from a party and because they were rushing or you were in a rush these two cards causes that collision that i was talking about so the divine is giving the responsibility into your hands to be the one who is very careful if you're driving at night you're making sure that you are looking everywhere so that if a person who is drinking and driving is around you're able just to move out of the way we're now, we're now looking at the last cards on the table and the divine is wanting to you to understand that your ancestors are soothing your spirit so whatever is happening your ancestors are wanting to bring an energy of peace and wanting to bring an energy of protection around you. So in the comment section, Afem, thank you, because your ancestors have collaborated with the divine, with your guides to bring you this message, because again, they want to protect your peace. The next card that we have, the divine is wanting you to understand that you are currently manifesting big things and you have no time to be dealing with the hustle of accidents, to be dealing with the hustle of not reading the terms and conditions and fully understanding, of dealing with the hustle of being naive and being in a rush and then making some choices that you have to waste a lot of peace, a lot of time 
dealing with. So you are manifesting big things and this is what your guides, your ancestors want you to focus on. So if you feel called to do so, comment 1111 because it is just you showing that you have truly understood the message that is here. The last card that we have is wanting you to remember that you are worthy of the wealth you pray for. And interesting, another comment for 1111. So indeed, you are worthy of everything that you're praying for. Not only are you worthy of the things that you're praying for, you are also manifesting. So you have two beautiful energies that you're currently working with. You're currently working with the energies of manifesting big things. You're currently working with the energies of uplifting, understanding that you are worthy to receive. You are divine. You are a sovereign being. And it is time to realize that you can have, you can manifest, and you can create anything that you want. And that your guides and your ancestors are watching over you and bringing that energy of protection. So this is the reading that I have for you. And again, remember about the candle ceremony that I spoke about. And if you're wanting to be part of that, everything that you need to know is in the description box below. And it is a goodbye from me. Bye.